Windsor's Country Mornings with Cordell. Uh, we have here from the Kingsville Pro Rodeo, we have Adam Trimble. Hello, Adam. Nice to see you. Good to see you. And our old friend who I feel like I have, uh, uh, I feel like I've known you forever, BJ. It has been many, many years now. BJ Prince is here from the Rawhide uh, Rodeo Tour. Um, which, of course, we know BJ so well from for many years from uh, bringing the rodeo to the Sun Parlor Rodeo and now the Kingsville Pro Rodeo. So it's it's nice that we we still get to see your handsome mug there, BJ. <laughs> oh, I don't know about handsome, but great to see you, Cordell. You as well. Yeah. Adam, first off, I want to talk to you because uh, this is awesome. I know a lot of people were so sad when they heard that the Sun Parlor Rodeo was uh, was ending after all those great years by the Paveos putting on that rodeo. And uh, and so, you know, folks were like, oh, what are we going to do for a rodeo now? Coming to the rescue, uh, Adam and uh, and Sid Trimble here. And uh, thank you for doing that on behalf of everybody who loves good rodeo for making sure that we got that coming back to Windsor, Essex. Uh, how did this whole thing come about where you decided to kind of take on the mantle and, and make your you know own rodeo and, and do this with uh, BJ and Rawhide? Well, just through buying and selling some cattle, just kind of have some connections and that mutual friends and that's kind of how it all come about i guess now you know after many great years uh with sun parlor this is going to be a little bit different right because it's a whole it's a, it's a different event so tell us a little bit about um how uh what what's involved here with the kingsville pro rodeo what can people expect at this rodeo so we are um changing it to a three-day event so it'll be friday saturday sunday i um, love that by sunday's going to be Sunday will be geared a little more to the kids while face painting and stuff like that there. Um, we will have Wetra there with kind of a petting zoo for everybody. Um, Sarah Parks will be there as, as she was at uh, Sun Parlor too. Um, and then we will be doing a beer tent too. So we actually supply uh, Grove Brewing with beef and that. So we kind of work pretty closely together. So they'll be um, doing the tent, like having the beer for the tent and that, uh, hopefully getting Wolfhead for liquor and North 42 for wine. So that'll be kind of a, a new thing and to bring to it. Yeah, for sure. And of course, you know, the excitement and the competition, uh, that we see with, with Cowboys and, uh, and, uh, rodeo stars coming from all over BJ, give everybody an idea here because they really do come from all over to compete at, uh, on this tour here. Tell us, uh, like where, where, like who's the furthest away? Oh, we've had contestants come to that region from Brazil, Mexico, Australia. Um, you know, Sun Parlor did such a good job for 20 years of developing an amazing fan base in that region. So we're super stoked to be able to come back to Kingsville area, to the region, to work with Adam and Sid on this event. It'll be sanctioned by the International Pro Rodeo Association. So points like in Sun Parlor will count towards uh, the world standings in Oklahoma City. Uh, in January, where they take the top 15 guys. So we expect to see talent from all over the U.S., Canada, and maybe a few other countries in between. What is the one event that I would least be qualified to participate in? <laughs> uh, barrel, ladies barrel racing. How's that? We'll keep it safe. <laughs> we'll, we'll also have the mechanical bull there for you to get on. So I think you'll qualify for that. Yeah, uh, my, I can do 0.1 seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu. It's, <laughs> it's, it's it's not very. I, it takes me longer to get on the mechanical bull than it does to get thrown off. Uh, it's I get I go I and mean, I land hard too because I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy, but it is ridiculous fun. So is that going to be a competition for people to be able to do, Adam? Like, uh, yes, we will be ho we will be hosting a competition with mechanical bull in the pier. Awesome. That is that is wicked. Is that going to be located near the alcohol? Yeah, right in the tent. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Because you know the two that that's, I uh, maybe maybe they should uh, do the uh, the 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 mechanical bull before imbibing, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be on the just to, you know if they want to compete a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it'll, although it'll break the fall a little bit if you go to go the other way around. Uh, BJ, tell me about um, uh, s some of the kids elements here of the of the rodeo here for the kids and because this really is a family event. It is from a competitor standpoint. We have uh, you know. We have all the standard events of rodeo with bull riding, bareback riding, saddle bronc riding, team roping, steer wrestling, tie down roping, breakaway roping. But for our junior kids, we have junior barrel racing and we have junior steer riding and we have calf riding for those participants. But as Adam said, we also have at this event this year, face painting and some other kids activities screwing in and out and around the festival. So looking forward to some of those new additions uh, to the region. And I think it'll be uh, really nice for 
for patrons to be able to come in, enjoy the day, and uh, and have some fun with some of those things. What is the secret to staying on a bull? What is the or a mechanical bull for that matter? But just staying on and hanging on. What's the secret? Secret to staying on. Well, it's only eight seconds. It just feels like a lifetime, Cordell. It's uh, yes, it you uh, hold on with one hand, uh, one hand in a rope, two hand, two feet down the sides. Uh, hopefully, keep them on opposite sides. Squeeze as hard as you can, and and hopefully, you're there when the whistle blows after eight seconds. Is is it like do you have to relax your spine a little bit, like get all noodly? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> it's kind of tough to explain. These guys have been working on it for their whole lives, but. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, you can think of it as a rocking chair on steroids, and um, you know they tried to stay stay there for eight seconds. Well, I'm gonna get my gramma out then. I will yeah, for sure. Sure. <laughs> see how she does. <laughs> Your grandmother-in-law. I got it. That's right. That's right. So three days long, and when's it all happening? Uh, once again, why 26th, 27th, and 28th? And uh, and of course, obviously, a new location. So uh, tell us about where that's located. So it's located right on our farm, Trimble Farms Cattle Company on that. Um, we're just kind of, if you drive by on Bell River Road, right by Bellevue Golf Course, um, it's it's right there in the hayfield. We're just kind of fencing the property right now and that and getting it all ready to go. We actually got our first cut on the ground. So in the next few days here, once that's bailed, we'll start laying sand out. Awesome. Good stuff. And lots of parking and everything for everybody to be able to enjoy? Lots of parking. There's about 30 acres of parking. That's great. Now the tickets are on sale right now as well, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, exclusively on our website. There you go. And that website is. All right. Hey, BJ, good to see you again, buddy. You don't age, Great to see by you. the way. You don't like we, what is the secret to you never aging, man? Like you look you look the same as when we first met, like I think 15 years ago. Like you don't look any different. Well, I feel I feel older if that makes you feel any better. It's uh... <laughs> Yeah, don't we? Good all. friends, good memories, good stories. It'll keep you young. I love it. I love it. Good to see both of you, and I uh, can't wait to see you at the Kingsville Pro Rodeo. Take care, Cordell. Bye bye. It's Windsor's Country Mornings with Cordell. Weekdays, 5 30 to 10 on Windsor's Country.